Hey everyone, D-Pad Dandy back again, and this month is Space Month. That's right, we're going to be taking a look at a couple games sharing a cosmic theme all throughout the month, starting today with a look at Space Shuttle Project for the NES. Yup, if we're going to explore space, the first step is to actually get up there. Space Shuttle Project tasks you and your crew with just that. Each mission starts with you preparing to launch, having you turn on fuel lines and get your crew members into the shuttle, all while the countdown is going on. Seriously, could this have been planned a little bit better, guys? Then you'll blast off and have to perform a series of button inputs to maneuver your way out of the Earth's atmosphere. That's all done in this little display right here. It'll have you hit a button when the indicator lines up to a certain area, chase a cursor around the bar, remember the order these lights light up and repeat it, stuff like that. Once in space, you'll perform some sort of task. This is like the main objective of each mission. First, you'll place a satellite into orbit without it getting hit by flying space debris. Easier said than done. Your next time up, you'll be placing panels as you piece together parts of the new NASA space station. From there, your missions are typically maintenance oriented. Fix some satellites, place some more panels. When you're done with work for the day, you head back home. Upon entering the Earth's atmosphere, you'll perform those same kind of button inputs to stabilize and land your ship as you did to take off. These sequences also get more complicated with each mission, and sometimes the game will throw you one you hadn't seen before, and you better hope you have a few lives in reserve when they do. The music here is... okay. There's a somewhat frantic theme when you're ascending and descending within the Earth's atmosphere, but also a more lofty theme when you're actually out in space. I do like how well suited this feels for those sections. The graphics are somewhat basic, but not bad. For some reason I like the little crew people running around, it kinda reminds me of elevator action. This game can be difficult, but once you get the hang of the different input sequences, it gets a lot easier. The parts I tend to have the most difficulty with are placing the satellite in panels. After each completed mission, you'll get a passcode and a ship assignment that you can use to continue the game from that point, so that's nice. I've always heard die-hard collectors talk about this one being a hidden gem on the NES, and for a long time I was like, really? But yeah, it's not bad. Space Shuttle Project is one of those obscure games that kind of makes you wonder why it even exists. But there's lots of varied playstyles going on here, and for what it is, it's pretty fun. Check it out if you're looking for something a little bit different. Well, thanks for watching this look at Space Shuttle Project. I'm D-Pad Danny, and I hope to see you next week as Space Month continues. Take care.